No. Yes, my dear. What did you say? The yoga room? Yeah. Okay, is it is it hot yoga or just like regular chill? Which one? It's surprise yoga. It's surprise yoga? That sounds fun. Only for girls? I love that. That's my favorite type. Only for girls is my favorite type. No boys allowed. Girls rule boys. Good job. And don't you ever forget it. <laughs> you tell him. You tell him, Fina. You tell him, Bo. You tell him, Bo. <laughs> What? Tell me. She's practicing. Yeah, don't. Uh, please do not play on the stairs. I'm not a fan of that. Hey, guys. All right, I got these beautiful lamb chops from Whole Foods, okay? I shouldn't, I feel like I shouldn't be allowed in Whole Foods because Whole Foods for me is like, it's like, Disneyland. You know how little kids go to Disney, like they go to Disneyland and they love it? I walk around Whole Foods and I'm like, yeah, please let me just walk down every aisle, read every package. Like I like to go there by myself, you know? I don't even want to go there with a purpose. I just want to go there and just search, you know? Today I picked up, I recorded a video, I just haven't posted it yet. I'm obsessed, okay? And if you buy this, you have to you have to tag me. You have to. It's Melanie's Medleys, okay? Cream cheese spread. Once I start getting like my abundance of figs, my figs are coming in, but they're still really, really green. Oh, Whole Foods smelled so good today, actually. It smelled like butter chicken. Like when I got to that little hot food section, it smelled like the most delicious butter chicken. <laughs> Okay, this is Melanie's Medley's Honey and Fig Pistachio Cream Cheese. This shit was so bomb. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you, Mia. Can you guys comment so I can make you my moderators? I don't know how to make people my moderator unless I come to the comments. And then, like, press it. Thank you, Jennifer. All right, this is like a cream cheese spread, and I'm not even kidding with you guys. Oh, pink shoes. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, guys. We're making lamb chops. I'm making that lemony, herby uh, potato salad that I have shared plenty of times. Really good. Um, and I'm going to just make, like, a really quick um, cherry tomato salad. Give me one second, guys. Hi, Susan. I love you, too. Thank you so much. You always show me so much love. Thank you. And for everyone that always, always shows me so much love, I really, really do appreciate it. I honestly wish I could answer and comment back to everybody because you guys are just so, so friggin' dope. Staten Island. I was in Staten Island today, actually. I, I moved to Jersey, and I'm in Staten Island all the time still. I don't understand. I still have appointments there. I have so much shit there. It's crazy. Thank you, Bella. Thank you, Mia. You guys are so dope. Thank you so much. Mama? Yes, my daughter. If you say that I'm good, what do you mean? No, I, I, my yoga class. Oh, the yoga class. 
Why don't you go get it and show them what we got? Yes, baby girl, it is. It is 4.48 over here. All right, I'm going to start cooking because this is like late for my start of time. You know I like to feed my kids at like 5 o'clock, but they're okay because Seraphine isn't back in school now, so her days are different, you know? Braising short ribs. Listen, there's, it seems like so intimidating, but it's really not. All you need is like time it takes so much time to braise short ribs and the more time you have the better it is trust me all right let's start kitchen i mean let's start kitchen because i just read your kitchen is so big my kitchen's not big babe it's, it's actually very small i mean it's like i don't want to say very small but it's spaced out properly like i don't have a ton of counter space the way it's laid out makes it bigger than what it is and I am very grateful that we're actually getting our kitchen done soon because um, my kitchen is to the point where, like, it, it doesn't look terrible, you know what I mean? But my floor is, um, my floor is coming apart. I have, like, a lot of broken tiles. I'm trying to, um, Mama, yes, my dear. Uh, One second, baby girl. I got this for my daughter, so later on tonight, we're gonna do this. Well, but I'm just telling you, if you do it tonight, because by the time we do it, it's gonna be late, you're not eating all the shit. You no, got that, not, right? Not. Yeah, because it's all like, this, I'd rather have, eat like an ice cream bar than eat the icing and sprinkles that come in this box. I'm not kidding. You can eat the ice cream bar and put this together. This is always like crazy food coloring, and I love to buy them for her um, because she just loves doing this stupid shit, you know? Cool, we'll do it later, no problem. So, um, yeah, we're going to do our um, kitchen this year. I'm, I'm hoping to get it done before the end of the year, but, um, but you know. But we're going to do it today, okay? I want to do it today. Yeah, we'll do it later. We'll do it later. When I said, can I, I say, um, you're doing great in your yoga class, okay? okay? No problem. I will attend your yoga class, I promise. Serafina is hosting a yoga class in her bedroom. And the only way we're allowed to do that Halloween house is if I do a good job in her yoga class later, so. Got it, baby. Yeah, yoga is allowed. Or men. Or men. <laughs> yeah, or men. Okay, Tina, got it. Let's start cooking, though. Let's, 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 like, get to business now. So if you've seen my video on my page, this is lamb chops that I marinated with olive oil, a little bit of balsamic, fresh garlic, rosemary, dill, parsley, um, a little bit of lemon, just like simple ingredients. I got these from Whole Foods today. They are beautiful lamb chops. I love little lamb live pops like this. And this is the first time Marielle is having lamb chops, right? Yeah, I think so. That's just marinating. The first thing we're gonna cook is our couscous, which we need all those herbs for. Seraphine is showing off the herbs. <laughs> You are a trip, my girl. Uh -huh. Okay, so the lamb, I'm gonna I'm gonna cook it with you guys today on live, but you really just wanna cook them. Like we like pretty rare meat, so I just get my cast iron really, really hot. Those are really, those already have a little bit of olive oil on them. So I'll just get it really, really hot and I just wanna sear them for like two minutes, even at each side. Thank you so much, guys. Mama, look, this one's loose. That's okay, baby. All right, we're gonna start our couscous. So couscous is very easy for, I believe it's for every one and a half cups of liquid, it's one cup of couscous. So what I like to do is like brown my couscous up a little bit first. I'm gonna go get some chopsticks. Do not go in the camera frame without me, okay? Stay right there. Okay, I'll just stand with that. Just stay right there. Costco, any recommendations? I mean, it's really like, just just, just let your heart tell you what you need, babe. Just let your heart tell you. You walk in there and Costco takes over. <laughs> My husband made me a drink. He made me some vodka and salsa with just some fresh lemon, nothing, nothing crazy. You guys know I'm a creature of habit, okay? No, Bob, so please. Thank you. Yeah, can you put this in the refrigerator for me? Put this in the refrigerator. Bye -bye. Okay. 
I'm gonna make the couscous first. What I do is fry it up in some butter. <laughs> kids are just so funny. I freaking love kids. I don't care if she comes in front of the camera. I mean, I put her on my page. It is what it is. Um, I just don't want her on the live frame without me. You want a leg? Mama, I just want some chicken, okay? You want some chicken today? Yeah. Sure, no problem. Babe. That's why I bought that. So you you like lamb because it's almost like steak, but you, like? you may not like all the yeah. herbs. That's why I also picked you up a chicken. Are you gonna eat it now? Yeah. Do you want some blue cheese? Please. Yeah. Amazing chef. Well, that's from Whole Foods. I didn't make that. Mommy bought that chicken from Whole Foods. You got her plate? Mm -hmm. You want me to warm it for you a little bit? No, I'm fine. You sure? I'm sure. Just throw chicken on my kids for food. Alright, let me just get a half scrunchie for my daughter. Hold on. There's blue cheese. Is that good? Yummy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just one second. You don't want the leg? You like the breast better? Yeah. You like this piece better, not like this salt? You like both? You want both? Oh, okay. you want both? Mariella! 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 Well, wow. no, you need to put a food and water back in it. All right, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, first thing we're going to do is our couscous. So let me get a measuring cup. So like I said, it's one and a half cups of wow. liquid to every cup of couscous. I like to use chicken stock. I just feel like it's, you know, just as good as water. Just a little flavor. Wow. Has some seasoning in it, you know? I just got my eyebrows done today. Usually she goes a little darker, but they look very natural. All right, let me get the couscous. The butter. Um, I know I have a cheese. Skin inside. side is the best side, just so you know. I'm looking for my background cup. Excuse me, Moki. Yeah, Moki's always here. put some olive oil and a little butter in the pan like a tablespoon of each because I like to fry up the couscous first and get it nice and toasty. Lhasa Atzos in their old age they get very um they get they just they, they don't age so well Lhasa Atzos they're like shih tzus you know they get blind they get ear problems constantly in and out of the vet it is what it is she's an old lady like i feel like what do you do when they get old you just leave them alone you leave them alone you know you leave them to die you just got to deal with whatever they got going on at the time you know what i mean old dogs are um you just gotta love them, exactly. They just need a little extra love at she the end. Like a steak day. This you don't even know. You see how I feed my kids. She eats whatever my kids eat because whatever Mariella's eating is going on the floor. You just gotta let them chill. Happy birthday, Allie. You turned 25 today. So freaking cool. She's an old lady. She's like 14, 15, yeah. All right, so I have a tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of butter, which is very rare because pedigrees usually don't have like as long as a, a, a life expectancy as like a mutt. That's what I was told when I was like, you know, grooming at the time. But anyway, I have some fat in this pan. I'm going to fry up one cup of couscous. I'm over here, baby girl. 
I'm going to double up on this because I'm going to my mother-in-law tomorrow. I'm going to bring some over there. And I should freeze some for my mother, too. All right, turn my pan up. Fina, we're going to eat your grandma's tomorrow. Grandma. Grandma over here. Daddy's mom. Daddy's mom. Grandma and Queens is coming over to sleep over this week. Mommy and Daddy have a date night planned. A really fun, exciting date night that I'm so excited for. I will share eventually, but so excited. I'm not a groomer anymore, but I did used to work in a grooming salon. I used to work like a bug from a vet. So I knew, I, I, you know, I don't know much now. It's been a long time. I'm sure it should have changed. But, you know. I got Serafina's name. Um, I grew up with a Serafina and I loved her. She was like one of the sweetest girls that I knew. She was always so freaking kind to me and I loved her name. I grew up with a Serafina. That's how I got your name. Me or? I grew up with a Serafina. And she was just like super cool. I even still talk to her now occasionally. Um, and I just always kept that in the back of my head, you know? I remember her. So couscous, this is um, rice selects. I've also bought Sophia. It was like a tricolor one. That one was really cool. Um, but whatever, the pearls, I recommend the pearls for this because it's like better for a side dish, in my opinion. Um, but they also have the other one that's not pearl. It's like the smaller green. <laughs> yes, your sister had one today. You can. Oh my god, is this all that's left in the container? I'm just gonna use this. I can't put that container away. I would I, I can't look at that every time. Thank you, Mariella. You're the best. Thank you. What you doing? You open the garbage, man. Thanks, Mariella. This is the rest of her. I didn't get the whole thing. I just put water. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so this is just that I just like to brown it up. So this is like a pretty quick live because lamb chops, you know, lamb chops take really quick. This is this is probably the longest thing because I'm gonna make just a really nice salad with you. I got some little mozzarella from Whole Foods. I'm gonna use that. Um, I picked some tomatoes. My moderators are doing their thing. Thanks, Bill. Thanks for following me. My high chair is Abby. I have the exact one linked in my Amazon storefront if you want the exact one. I bought that high chair when Serafina was, was born. When I first was getting into like the baby led weaning, what I was reading was posture and like the little base by their feet to make sure they have something for their feet to sit on. Like those are such factors that, you know, people don't even look at. So I looked at like the perfect high chair, you know, your first kid, you know, you do that with your first kid. Um, and I bought the perfect high chair and it has grown with me. Now Mariella uses it. So when I gave birth to Mariella, I bought parts for it. I bought like a new wood tray. I bought new cushions for it. And then when they reach a certain point, you get rid of the tray and it turns into like a toddler chair and you use it at the table. Thank you to Keisha. So she, uh, Serafina used that high chair up until like three. Mariella is still in it. She's a little over a year, so we'll see. But eventually I take the tray away and we use it as like a um, chair. I have a few tattoos, yes. Why are you asking? <laughs> my mom is good. She's probably on this live, silently watching. That's my mother. <sighs> I chose Mariella because somebody that I'm very good friends with has a very good friend named Mariella. And I just always loved, like, she used to tell me things like, oh, Mariella this, Mariella that, you know. And I just always loved her name. Um, and that was another one that I just banged. Like, I really don't have these long, elaborate stories of how I chose them. But, babe, isn't somebody in your family named Serafina and we didn't even know that? My great-grandma. So, my husband's great-grandmother was named Serafina, but we didn't even know that. Until like later. What'd you call her? You used to call her Big Nana. They used to call her Big Nana. I don't know why. That makes no sense. We're little kids. Yeah, that's cute. 
Hey, you're not a little pig. We used to call it Big Nana. So I'm just, no, this is probably boring for you guys right now. I just, it's very easy to burn this if you see how like brown it's getting. So I just like to keep an eye on it when it's at this stage. And then once I put the moisture in, I just let it go and we can start working on our salad. The last thing we're going to cook is our lamb chops because those take literally like two minutes. They're very quick. Very quick. Before this live, my husband was like working. He was helping me cut up the herbs. I was like, thanks, babe. <laughs> he, did the he did the dishwasher. He did the dishwasher for me. And close a million dollar deals. F with me. Stop it. Right now it smells. I love the smell of this nutty, nutty couscous. So good. Don't shake it away. I'm, I'm telling you something. If we were closing million dollar deals, I was mo I'm I'm moving to the middle of nowhere. Get all million dollars. Not that I'm moving to the middle of nowhere. I would honestly stay in New Jersey because I I don't hate New Jersey. I, that's it. I said it. Um, but I want to live somewhere where it's a little more farm like. Um, million dollar deals are already been closed in this house, and that's what well, got us this But what I'm saying is, we're at the point where we want to move to a different area. That's multi million dollar deals. Yeah, yeah. to a different area. I would like to move somewhere where my neighbors aren't as close because I'm just like really all about privacy and it's so hard to have privacy in the towns around here. It's funny that I'm about privacy when I'm on TikTok and I share yeah, you guys my I'm life, but still, like, when I'm in my garden, like, if I'm not filming and I just want to, like, lay out there and catch a tan, I want to be, I don't want to be left alone. I don't want to see you barbecuing your hot dogs when I'm laying on the, on, on my deck. I don't. I don't want to see you barbecuing. And I don't want you to see me laying on my deck. You know what I mean? There's a time and a place for everything. I am not leaving New Jersey. The only way I would leave New Jersey is if my husband's job moves somewhere else. We were gonna leave New Jersey at some point because he was looking into a job, um, where was it, Massachusetts? Rhode Island? Um, but we're not, that was a long time ago now. All right, so now I'm gonna put three cups, yeah, it was when I was pregnant with Mariella. I'm gonna put three cups of stock in here. Whatever I have left in this container, at least. Babe, hey, do I have any stock in that pantry? Okay, Mama. Don't worry about it except Daddy, actually. Of course, except Daddy. Daddy, you're lucky. Yeah, South Jersey. I mean, I can't afford, like, Colts Neck. Thank you, Nikki. South you know, Jersey, like, I, I love, love Colts Neck. Not because it's, like, a rich area. Like, that's what I want. Like, farmland. You know what I mean? I'll, I'm going to move to like Warren or just somewhere where is more. Warren? Yeah, not Warren. Uh, what's the <laughs> other one? What's the, with the H? She was to to Warren. Not Warren. Well, well, actually, Warren was really nice when I went up there. I loved yeah, Warren. Stupid nice. Yeah, Warren is so pretty. I love yeah. Warren. Yeah. So actually, yeah, I would move to Warren. And I would also move to like Howell. There's a little more farm like Let's over there. Let's see what people say about Warren. Yeah, Warren is nice. Exactly. Wait. Yeah, Warren is so Warren nice. Warren is stupid nice. Rhode Island? I don't want. I just want to live. I want to like, move to Rhode Island. I want to live more. I don't want to have a farm. I'm not gonna have no fucking chickens. I'm definitely not. I, I'm not the person that. I wish I could. I wish, but I don't want to take care of no freaking Oak chickens. Ridge. Oak Ridge is nice. I'm not gonna start a farm. I just want more property. Yeah, like, Warren and I want to be money. left alone. You know what I mean? Yeah, Sussex County. That's right. where we want to go. This is three cops. Whoever that is knows knows what they're doing. Matawan. Matawan is a little too close to where I am. I feel like, right? I want to do a little bit deeper than that. No, we, we, Sussex County is where we want to go. Okay, we'll write it down because I have I no Sussex. idea. East Bernardsville? Windsor? East Windsor's not bad. Bernardsville's nice. No Hoboken, sorry. Hillsborough, Flemington, yep. My mom said goodbye. Nope. Mom, I'm already in Jersey. What do you mean? We're trying to move what, 20 minutes away. What, is it going to be an away? extra 20 minutes for you? New England. My mother lives in Queens and she'll never leave Queens. But she doesn't understand that we can't afford Queens. Barnegan? Especially if I want farmland, I'm not getting that in Queens. Cranford's nice. I like Cranford. All right. Let this cook. Let me start going with the herbs. They got a pastoza in Cranford. Yeah, I've never been to that one. I heard they it was good. Pastoza in Cranford. So I'm going to start just prepping the herbs for this couscous salad. Everything else is going to go really quick. I'm also going to make the salad. The uh, cherry tomato salad. Alright, at this point, I'm gonna put 
put some garlic in that couscous so while this is coming up to a boil and reducing i'm gonna put like a handful of garlic and that's gonna poach in that ch in that chicken stock now i'm gonna cut the um herbs for the couscous salad so here's dill i'm gonna put way more because i love dill sorry Cheap as dill. No, I used it in my marinade. This is already washed. My husband washed it, so don't even talk shit. Okay? Thank you, Sam. We're not moving anytime soon, guys. I'm literally, it's I'm not. Yeah, right we're now. not moving. I'm not moving for like at least five years. I, I'll let you that. I'll, I'll tell you that. That's why I'm doing little improvements to my home here because I'm not moving anytime soon. I have no desire to pack and look for a house. My head is not there yet. I have no yeah, desire. Rich. I love the school my, my daughter is in. I don't really have a need to run out. You know, we fit in this house right now. I'm, it's a little bit cheaper to run. So we're like, okay right now, but in the future, I would love to have a little more property, you know? But right now that's not my main thing. I have way other things that we need to do. You know, my kids are still young. It is what it is. All right, here is fresh, some fresh dill. Move to Australia? That would be so freaking cool. Go. Thank you, Sam. They're sending me tiny dinies because of Mariella. Bingo, ain't your baby. <laughs> so cute. You guys are so cool. Australia, huh? I am making a lemony herby couscous. I have shared this before, but it's just one of my oh, favorites, so and that's what cute. we wanted tonight. Um, I'm also going to be searing up some oh, lamb chops that I marinated. And I'm gonna make a little like tomato salad with fresh mozzarella, fresh herbs, red onion. All right, this is some fresh dill that I cut up for the couscous salad. I'm gonna cut up some fresh parsley. Okay, Google. Shuffle Pandora Radio. There you go. Shuffle music from Pandora. Okay, Google. Volume three. In North Carolina, but isn't it hot there all year round? Like, I feel like I need seasons. Thank you for the chili pepper. Okay, Google. Next song. All right, this is parsley. I'm just putting all these herbs together because when I put the couscous together, I'm gonna mix everything together anyway. What's the matter, Mocha? Do you wanna go outside? This is some fresh rosemary. I'm gonna just make sure you chop this very, very small because the fresh rosemary can be hard to swallow. ugly dumpling and I'm not gonna talk shit I think it's delicious I do but I do think tasty moment is better on route 27 that's my opinion I have been to um both of them and I think ugly, but I think ugly dumpling is cool for like a I mean tasty moment's nice inside too but ugly dumpling I, I've never been in there my husband was in there and he said it was like a cool atmosphere how's the atmosphere in there babe Shanghai dumpling yeah, it's cute in there. No, Shanghai dumpling. Oh, wait. Uh, no, ugly dumpling. How's the atmosphere in there? What it look like? I didn't win it. Yes, you did. You went there to pick up the food, didn't you? That day we ordered dumplings, you went there to pick up the food. Oh, you look nice in there. Yeah, it was like nicer Classy. than like Tasty Moment. No, they're both the same. I just think, ta I think Tasty Moment is just tastier. More authentic. Tasty Moment is a tastier moment. Way more authentic. <laughs> Way better. I think it's super cute. Yes, I've been to uh, Butcher's Block a few times. My friend Lauren goes there often. I went with her a few times. Well, if you had a horrible day, I hope you have a better day here, babe. Yes, you did, babe. Come to Long Island. I'm, I usually visit my mother in Queens like once a month. The Norkel Mile? Is that where we used to shop? Hi from Ireland. That's so cool. 
You know, this girl that I follow on here, I think her name is Haley Catalano. I could be wrong. But Kerry Gold sent her on a trip to Ireland, and I'm just, like, literally living vicariously through her. I am slobbering over her, <laughs> over her TikTok post. I love her. And, like, God bless. Amazing. Like, congratulations, babe. I'm not even kidding. That is literally, that's like a dream trip. I have not been to San Diego, no. This is San some Diego. fresh parsley. I mean, fresh rosemary. I'm just cutting it very, very small because it's not really a fan favorite, fresh rosemary, if you get like a big chunk of it. Hello from Dubai. That's so freaking cool. Like, how do I even reach you? This one says they have a 13-year-old Lassa Apso named Mocha. That is so freaking cool. Does she eat everything? Yeah, does she eat everything? And like, does she always constantly have an ear issue or like an eye issue? <laughs> it's just like the also, old dog. The most resilient dog in the world. Yeah, she always just bounces back, this dog. Um, this is chicken bouillon. I'm going to put like a tablespoon of this in the um, couscous. My moderators are really hooking me up right now, babe. Hello from Mars. That's freaking cool. I wonder what's happening on Mars. I'm actually very curious. What's going on in Pluto, man? I should try Shore Fresh. Where is that? I've been to um, Point Lobster over there. That's like one of our favorites. We really, really enjoy that place. Okay, Google, play Thumbprint Radio on Pandora. Okay, Google, next song. Let me just taste the consistency of this. I love that so much. I'm gonna just go juice these back down. If you could see me. Okay, Google, volume four. Chris Brown. See if you the the couscous the liquid is is reducing and it's like almost cooked at this point. I'm gonna put another splash of stock. Just taste it. Like when it's almost when there's like almost no more liquid, just just taste it. If it's not if it's not like soft enough, add another splash of chicken stock. Cooking is very forgiving. You just have to like be quick on your feet, you know. Okay, Google. Next song. Deli Meat Sammy is definitely, okay, I have two tops. One of them is roasted turkey, like oven gold turkey, boar's head, boar's head, provolone lettuce mayo with like a jalapeno kettle cook chip. My other one is a honey turkey with Munster cheese, honey mustard, lettuce, and then I think I still like a jalapeno chip for that, right? And then I still like a jalapeno chip. I'm just, I'm such a fan of kettle cooked jalapeno chips. All right, so once this liquid dissolves, this is gonna be cooked. Okay, Google, next song. Yeah, this is more my vibe, thank you. Okay, thank you, Pandora. All right, so at this point, this is the, what, watch you, watch you see, like, how we put this together. It's the easiest thing. Okay. After this, we're going to just fry up our lamb chops. So easy. This is the mozzarella that we got. Uh, yeah, boar's head de uh, deli meat is really good. It's just, that shit is mad expensive right now. Like, I'm not spending $20 a pound on processed turkey. Got the fuck out of here. Not me. Not me. Once in a while. Once in a while. But I used to buy it every week. You eat anything but I wouldn't, I wouldn't even touch anything. 
I was a real cook on small. I got over that real quick when I started paying my own bills. <laughs> Once my mom stopped buying me cold cuts, I got over that real quick. All right, oh, so man. this is like basically done. Let me just make sure it's soft enough. Perfect. I'm gonna show you how I put this together. So all I used to season this was some chicken bouillon. That shit is mad salty and it has like everything you need. This is a very simple side dish. You don't want to overcomplicate it. I'm gonna put all this in here. I'm gonna use the same pan the whole night. My mother's probably having a panic attack right now because when she comes to my house, she she takes Brillo and she scrubs down my pots because she tells me my pots have all these stains on them. And I'm like, who gives a shit what the outside looks like? <laughs> Definitely not me, that's for sure. Okay, this is salted perfectly. I'm not even going to salt it anymore. It is literally perfect. This is the, okay, Google, volume three. This is the dill, parsley, rosemary that we chopped up. All of that. Right in. Now I have some lemons. Where are they? Where are those lemons? The juice. Oh, you juice. My husband juiced them for me. This is the juice of two lemons, thanks to Tom. So one lemon per recipe. This is a double batch. Because this is a fan favorite in this house. Okay, Google. Next song. I'm going to taste this for salt, but once it cools down, it's going to like coag. It's going to be delicious. I'll show you once I make the plate. You're looking at me like that's cool. Looking good. <laughs> Let me just taste it and make sure it doesn't need salt. It smells so freaking good. I'm gonna put it over there. I'm gonna just put a little more salt. Oh, Where'd my salt go? Do you see it? Am I going crazy? Not over here. That's it. I've been to Jose's house. Wow. It honestly, pre-COVID, like when they had their regular menu, I enjoyed it, and the margaritas were cheap. Egg and they had the eggplant royale. And now they fucking changed their menu and everything that me and my husband would ever get. No, they don't have it. Make sure you cover it. Cover it. Cover it. Yes, yeah, so I don't want it to get cold. They changed the whole menu. I leave the garlic cloves in. Yes, I I eat the garlic. If you don't like the garlic, you don't have to leave it in. But I love the garlic. Jose Tejas is whack now. Yeah, my husband is not a fan anymore. <laughs> he used to I like it. it. I mean, when I first moved to Staten Island, that was like the thing over there, you know? Let's <gasps> not drop anything today, Leah. I'm really going to try my hardest. Oh, this is good. Yeah. I always make that, and I feel like that would be so really good with that lamb that I'm making. Okay, I'm going to fry up some mushrooms and butter, because you guys know I love mushrooms with, like, my protein. So I'm just going to put some oil and... A little bit of oil and a little bit of butter, same like equal amount, like a tablespoon of each. 
for the mushrooms in that same pan that I cooked the couscous. I have this mushroom medley. This one's already washed. And then I also have some creminis that I'm gonna chop up. And that's gonna just be like a little topping for the, you know, what are we making again? <laughs> <laughs> for the lamb chops, there's never too much garlic, guys, okay? If you think it's too much garlic, I'd probably put an extra handful. It, it's just, it's, it, it's not possible. It's just not possible. I have lamb lollipops here. This is some cremini mushrooms that I wanted to use that I had in my fridge. And I also have that mushroom medley I'm going to use like a rough chop on these nothing crazy this is just gonna be a little topping i want to just fry them up i love to do just garlic butter and fresh herbs so good put that in and then we'll work on our salad I haven't even drank my drink what the heck <laughs> I will definitely show you my rice bowl one day. One day. No, don't do it. I have not gone apple picking yet, but we definitely will. My daughter loves that shit. Tomatoes were wrapped in there. <laughs> Sing it, girl. What? Uh, 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 uh. All right, I got those creminis. Oh my god, it's five, five thirty. I'm hoping to have dinner done by six. These are these beautiful mushrooms from Whole Foods. They were shiitakes, brown beech, and oyster. Cool. Putting them right in that hot butter. These are like already sliced and cleaned for you. Don't worry. Whole Foods got you covered. Just $8 later for a four ounce package of mushrooms. And you know what? It's not something I buy every day. It's not. But if I'm gonna spend forty dollars on lamb chops, I'm gonna spend the eight thousand on the good mushrooms. I'm sorry, you're already there. You're already there. Our mushrooms are going. They need a little more oil. Am I freezing? What's going on over there? You guys are telling I'm freezing. Some people tell me I'm not freezing. Am I freezing? What's happening? Turn off the Wi-Fi. What's happening, guys? I'm gonna put some salt. Babe, they want us to do mukbangs together. So I just bought this this thing. Um, hey June, what's up, boo? I got three months Uber Eats free. Why? Because of uh. Work. June, comment so I can make you a moderator. Am I turn it off anyway. Little dirt never killed no one. Exactly. This is why I'm never sick. This is why you've never seen me on here with the flu, with any of the things. Little dirt never killed. My favorite fast food, babe. What's my favorite fast food? Oh, I know. White rose. Yeah, but white rose isn't really considered fast food. I feel like. Yeah, right here. So I used to love McDonald's, but after I had COVID with Mariella, I started to like not love their French fries. They tell me I'm freezing. Should I get no. off and go back on? Go on, whatever. Yeah. 
pop off if anything, whatever. I'll just have to save two and post two videos. <laughs> it's freezing, babe. I'm gonna hop off and hop right back on. Thank you guys. <laughs> How is it looking now? Should we hop off and hop back on? What do you think? It's good now? Could be. All right, let me know. My husband put me on some other Wi Fi shit. T Mobile Wi Fi. Some T Mobile Wi Fi shit. <laughs> oh, I love this song. Okay, Google. Volume four. Okay, my mushrooms are cooking. Look, they're frying up. I'm gonna put some some fresh garlic in them now. And let's work on our salad, and then we're gonna fry up our lamb chops. I know you're waiting for them. What? Is that too loud for you, baby? Okay, okay, Google. Volume three. Um, can I, um, what, baby? Can I um, have that, um, can I get a salad for you? No, we're not having one. I'm just doing a little uh, cherry tomato and fresh mozzarella. Come here, Gina. What about that candy house? Yes, we'll do that after we eat, baby. That's our yeah, dessert. Yeah. Okay. You'll do that with your dessert. I promise, I promise, I promise I'll do that later. You're not doing that now, though. All right, I'm going to just cut up our tomatoes and our mozzarella. Oh, that's good. Come here, where is he? Let's start making our little salad. I'm gonna let these tomatoes like marinate a little bit while I build everything else. These are just some cherries from my yard. I should connect a mic. I'm gonna definitely buy a mic. I see a lot of people using that now and I love the way it sounds. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely get one. Thanks for the idea. Sometimes I feel like when you do something that other people are doing. Whoa. Did you see that? I feel like if you do something that like someone else is doing, you're automatically labeled as like a copier. So I really try to always find like my own way, you know? I have like, I don't know what we marinated over there. For chicken soup, you can boil a whole chicken if you want and just make soup like that. It's very easy. Yes, I agree. It's, it's about getting a, a better quality video. You know what I mean? I completely agree with you. But if somebody out there who, you know, uses the microphone more than someone else, they'll be like, oh, well, I do this. So they're doing it because I do it. You know what I mean? In my in my opinion, if you understand where, where I'm trying to go with that. These are tomatoes from my yard. I'm just halfing them up. You with her, babe? Yeah. Say no, baby.
All right, for these mozzarella, I'm gonna just take them out of the water, put them right in this tomato salad. Here, give her a piece of the cinnamon. All right, let me try. No salt. I, I made salmon on live not too long ago, actually. I'm gonna just put my heat up. I'm gonna put a splash of Worcestershire and I'm gonna let that cook off for a few minutes and then they're done. And these I'm gonna just serve on the side of the, of the lamb. I love mushrooms on top of protein, it's so good. I'm gonna fry my lamb right in the same pot. Yeah, I'm hoping this, uh, the last few days will be nice and warm, you know? Or else we're not gonna be able to get in there, definitely not. All right, let's just season this real quick. This is the tomato with mozzarella. I'm putting some salt, olive oil. I know, thank you. A little bit of balsamic. When I serve the meal, I'll put this on a bed of microgreens, but I'm gonna just let this marinate together. Here's a ton of fresh parsley. Also some fresh basil. And I mean, honestly, that's really all I need. I'm very simple. I love fresh herbs. I love fresh vegetables super tasty i mean you eat it with everything you eat it as like a condiment you know what i mean all right i'm gonna take these mushrooms out i'll show you what they look like so these mushrooms i'm gonna put some parsley and basil in there too they've already been seasoned i'm shutting the pan now these will come out and just wait to be served Ooh. That fat, I'm going to leave in the pan and I'm going to use that for the lamb chops. That heart dish was my grandma's. Okay, Google. Next song. I grew my own microgreens, but I ate half of it with lunch already. <laughs> I did record, I just didn't get a chance to post. I have so many drafts to post, um, but I'm gonna use the rest tonight with the salad. I'm trying to get this garlic, I don't want this garlic to burn. Perfect. Okay, see that fat in that pan? We're gonna use that for our lamb chops. So this is the um, tomato, you know, herbs, fresh mozzarella. And we will put this over microgreens eventually, but let's get those lamb chops in the pan. This is even great if you make this, you put this right over chicken cutlets, so freaking good. Okay, now that our pan is hot, let's just get it like really hot. Because some of them are a little thinner than others. And you really just want to get a nice color on them.
Lemon and caper dish. I did, um, what's that really good fish dish I did on here where I cooked on live, I put the fish in like an egg batter and then I put, I cooked it in like a lemon juice. It was haddock, I think, yeah. <laughs> if you go on my YouTube, anytime I cook on live, I always post it to my YouTube. There is a really good dish that I made on here. It was like, um, I believe it was haddock. And I had it in like um, a little bit of seasoned flour and then I put it in egg and then I made like a really delicious pan sauce, which is butter and lemon. Super, super easy. You should look at that up. Go on my YouTube. Um, I try to post them like within the week that I have, you know, filmed them, but sometimes it don't always work that way. Thank you, Katie. So this is just like getting really freaking hot, you know? I strained everything out at the bank. Yes, thank Jesus Christ. Oh my God. All right, my pan is hot now. I'm gonna start putting my lamb chops in that I marinated, if you saw from that video. And like I said, we like our meat kind of rare. So this is really just like a one to two minute per side type of thing. Wash my hands and get a plate for them. Beautiful, like beautiful. And then the other side, you just want like a half a minute, like not even long, you know? Because as they sit, they're gonna cook. Look, they look beautiful. So if you spend money on meat like this, you wanna cook it properly. I know I'm screaming, but this pan is very loud. So I'm sorry guys, really. I'm just loud as shit, I can't help it. <laughs> I'm gonna take these off. They're done for me. They're done. I like them rare. They're done. Okay, Google. Next song. All right. Rotate your pan. Move the fat down. Put your next batch. Make sure you just check the thickness, you know? Oh, the dog will get plenty because Mariella's going to get a whole chop. And you know what Mariella does with that chop. My dog eats better than everybody in this house. I'll tell you that. I'm not kidding with you. She eats better than everybody. some thin ones here. I'm going to flip those a little sooner. This one and this one. 
Those will be giant, and this one actually is a little thin. How good do those look? Ah! So excited right now. Yeah. All I have to do is put this down and get it with on. You have to sit for like two minutes to rock, and that's it. Mary, um, Mo Mariella. Mocha sits under the high chair because she knows that's where she gets fed the most. Mariella loves to feed, huh? All right, these two small ones I'm taking out. Again, you cook your meat to how you like it. Uh, we like rare meat, especially lamb chops. And this meat is so good, you do not want to overcook it. I'm telling you that. I'm going to flip these now. Look how beautiful those look. I mean, come on. I don't give a shit if you hate me or what. Those look good. You can't lie to me. You can't lie. Take this small one out. I'm gonna put in that fat for a second, actually. All right, I'm gonna take this one out. Dave, do we have any more lemon? Let me talk. So I paid forty-two dollars for all of this lamb. I think it was twenty dollars a pound, which honestly isn't cheap, but it's not something I buy often. Take this one out. Thank you guys for all the super, super kind comments. A weekend treat, exactly. It's once in a while, you know what I mean? We really enjoy this. And if I was to go out to eat and order myself a plate of lamb chops, it would be the same amount of money I spent on these chops, but they would give me three of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'd rather just make them. It, it, it makes a mess of my stove, I'm not going to lie, but it's delicious. I mean, they look delicious. These I bought from Whole Foods, and Whole Foods really has a, a little great little butcher in there. I'm going to just put these aside. I'm not even going to cover them with foil because I do not want them to keep cooking. I do not want them to overcook. We like rare meat, um, and these are perfect. So I'm going to just put them aside. I'm going to put a piece of foil over it, but not like tight, you know, just lay it. Let's just finish our salad and then we will make everybody's plate like I normally do with you guys. Okay, Google. Next song. Yeah, my mother used, so my mother, I don't know how it works out in our family actually my mother seems to be hosting easter and i host thanksgiving and i host thanksgiving she always makes a leg of lamb or some sort of lamb actually the last few years she's been getting lamb chops which we love even more because who wants a leg of lamb i totally prefer the chop tell me not okay google volume four the first big meal I ever cooked. So I've been cooking for a really long time. Like I always cooked with my mother, me and my sister always did a ton of cooking with my mom. It wasn't, it wasn't like, like, hey, I'm going to teach you how to cook. We just were like, we're in the kitchen. Like it was normal for us to cook also. You know what I mean? Um, so that was like normal for me. But as far as like catering, I don't know. I did a lot of shit. Like I used to do holiday markets. I've catered christenings, birthday parties, 40th birthday parties, um, I have no problem cooking for a hundred people. I actually enjoy it. I've never been to Publix. I would love to try it one day, but they don't have any by me. Tell whoever's the owner of Publix, you got to put one in Jersey because if I need anything is a pub sub. No one wanted to clean. No, because as soon as I was done cooking and eating, I would take a nap. I wasn't cleaning shit. I cooked all day and I ate all day and I was tired. <laughs> <laughs> my friend Frankie would come over, we would chill in the backyard, and I would take a nap. <laughs> now, I'm the one that's cooking and cleaning on the holidays. You should open the windows because the smoke detector is going to go off any second. I don't even know how it's going to yet. All right, let's put our salad together. I didn't put that in the sink because there's too much in there. You want 
want your cream. More peppermint? What? Babe, how much chicken is she? All right, I, I like to make my salads on a platter. I have shared this plenty of times. Thank you for the lightning bolt, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Taylor. I, lo I would love, I love making charcuterie boards. Listen, once the colder weather comes, you will see way more of that content. But in the summer, we don't really eat like that as, as often, like, I don't find myself going to buy like a, a, a salami stick and like a shop provolone in the middle of the summer, you know? But in the middle of November, for show. <laughs> for show. So it's just, you know, my, my, I feel like my content changed with, with like the season. Like right now I was into like just super fresca shit. Now I'm going to be into really comforting holiday recipes, you know, baking. I'm super hyped. I love holidays. Even growing up, like times were hard sometimes, but holidays were always like such an exciting part of like your day. You know what I mean? Like you were always looking forward to the holidays. So this is some of the arugula microgreens from uh, Whole Foods. I'm gonna put like half of this container. And I also have some of, this is the microgreens that I grew. Like I said, I ate half of them for lunch, um, but I'm gonna use the rest of them on tonight salad. <laughs> But honestly, worth every freaking like second of time. I will. T I have like four different um little hay strips to do it again. So I will like film when I do my next microgreens grow. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting off in five minutes. I'm almost done. This is a uh, tomato and mozzarella salad. I'm not even seasoning these microgreens, but I'm going to put all this dressing right on top. I mean, come on. Like, you don't eat with your eyes first. That looks freaking beautiful. Mm. All right. Let me make everybody's plate. And then I'm gonna take a bite with you. And then I'm gonna hop off. Oh my god, artichoke pizza. Oh, listen, just get the artichoke slice. Like it's literally all you need. It's so freaking good. My husband and I own an Italian deli in Nutley called Velados. Heard about We would that love place. for you to visit. They want us to visit. I heard about that place. Did you? What'd yeah. you, yeah. What'd you hear about it? Big deal. My husband said he heard about it and he heard it was a big deal. I would love to visit. You got boar's head? <laughs> Cutlets? Pickled shit? She goes, oh yeah. <laughs> Sopranos country. I would love to go on Chopped. Do you know how long I've been watching Chopped? DM me. To who, um, whoever I was talking to about that deli, DM me. We have we have Thumans. Thumans is good too. Oh yeah. yeah. No no no. Thumans is good too. I'm cool with Thumans. Oh, Those two plates. Pet mom back in the day. I used to love pet mom. Okay, Google. Next song. Oh, it's already hot. Huh? What? Baby's over. Honey ham. <laughs> Alright, let's make my let's make my kitties plates. What time is it right now? It's 5 50s. Look at me. Look at me. What should we do first? Let me give them some salad. My kids love this salad. I do. Seraphina loves her tomato. She loves her mozzarella. There's a couple of herbs on here though. She's gonna have to pick around. Sorry, Fina. She will. Mariella. Okay, Google. Next song. Yeah. What? These are their. I'm gonna put some mushrooms. Mariella, find 
Peter, you want mushrooms? Yes, she is. These are these delicious lamb chops. I am so freaking hype right now, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give them really thin ones just because I feel like it'll be easier for them to eat. But I'm gonna give them the whole bone and everything. And Fina's gonna get a big, like Fina will get a kick out of me giving her a, a piece of meat on a bone like this. Seeing me and my husband eat it, like she gets a kick out of that. She wants to do it too, you know? So I'm gonna serve it to her just like that. See, we made this couscous. Look at the look at the texture of it now. Look at it now. Do you see that? Let me move these plates. Look at the texture of this couscous now. See how it like soaked everything in? Listen, this is like I make some crazy shit, elaborate like a hundred ingredient shit. This is one of the easiest things I make that I truly truly enjoy. Volano's Deli, 250 High Street in LA. DM me that, please, because I'm never going to ever remember that. <laughs> DM me that. Um, this is a lemony herby couscous, and let me tell you, it's freaking delicious. So, all right, let me give them a little bit of that, a little bit for Mariella, a little bit for Serafina. And this is their plates. It's like my hobbies. Babe, you can get yourself in. I mean, you can get the uh, kids sitting. So for my hubby, I'm going to put some couscous on the bottom. Mm. So good. I'm going to start him with two chops for now. I love Billy Joel song. I love Billy Joel. My husband took me to a Billy Joel concert when I was pregnant with Serafina. Um, but also my uncle that I grew up with loves Billy Joel, so he's just a fan fave. Give my hubby some salad. And that's his plate. I'll make mine and I'll take a bite with you and then I'm hopping off. Oh, I need to give it mushrooms. I can't forget the mushrooms. Look at those. I mean, does that not look freaking delicious? Like I said, you could hate me, but that looks freaking delicious. All right, let's make my plate. Some couscous. Babe, hey, that's your plate and the kid. You can get them today. Thank you. No. I can understand why you wanted a horse now. Right, let me put my lamb choppy. Salad. Mushies. I love mushies. Oh, 
watching Bonnie and Clyde pretending to be that shit. I'm so excited for this meal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a bite with you and then I'm gonna eat with my crew. I have a butter knife right now, okay? Because all my other knives are clean, are dirty as shit. Nice and pink, just how I like it. Mmm. Wow. Babe, you know, you're very lucky that your wife knows how to cook. I'm not sorry. I'm very lucky. All right, guys. This was dope as shit. When people ask me, what do you love to cook? What do you love to eat? This, for sure. These, like, really delicate lamb chops. Come on, Tina. Super herby, citrusy, couscous. Yes, sign me up, ma'am. Okay. I'm going to eat. Thank you guys so much for hanging with me. Yeah. Thank you for cooking with me. I love you. Maybe I'll hop on another day this weekend. Who knows, you know? Who knows? <laughs> I was trying to do a mukbang. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging with me.